Well, good day everyone, how's it going? If this is your first time on the channel, my name is Michael Drowley and I run a video production business called Pendula and basically we do corporate videos for businesses, we do business stories, we do testimonial videos, uh, anything uh, editing and all that sort of stuff as well. And yeah, we've been running for about three years and this is kind of my tips and tricks and stuff around the Canon 5D Mark IV, which is the camera I'm shooting on now. And yes, everyone, this is shot in Canon C-Log. I just love the look of it. Uh, I love how it just is rich in the colors and in the mid-tones and it pops the skin nicely. So it's a little bit of extra work, but yeah, I love to use it. So hopefully you've got something out of the videos that I've produced in and around the Canon and the 5D Mark IV and the C-Log upgrade. But today I wanna to talk to you about this little gem of a camera that um, I've been using now for a good part of the last maybe two, two and a half years. It's the Canon 5D Mark III. And yes, sadly, I will be moving this camera on from my kit and it's a big step for me because I've used this camera you know, for most of my work right from the first six months I had a 5D Mark II and I started out on a 7D and now I moved across to the Canon 5D or you know, from there moved across to the Canon 5D Mark III and but basically I came to a realization while shooting a two camera shoot, actually a couple of two camera shoots in a row where I shot the main camera in 4K on the 5D Mark IV and I shot a B camera on the 5D Mark III. And the footage on the 5D Mark IV so far outweighed the footage on the 5D III. Guys, I have to say it was even, it was so hard to match up the two shots because the quality on the 5D III uh, just really degraded the production overall. And I just thought, well, if I'm not going to be wanting to take the 5D III on a shoot uh, anymore, then really I need to think about upgrading it, moving it on, getting something that will hold up against the 5D Mark IV footage. So what I've come up with is I'm actually going to be going to a C100 Mark II. And this sounds crazy, I know, but it's C100 Mark II will actually become my B camera. And the reason for that is because obviously the C100 Mark II doesn't shoot 4K. So yeah, a video producer who's gonna be shooting his main camera on the 5D Mark IV, and he'll be shooting the rest on, you know, and the B-roll and the B-shot and the second the second angle on the 5D, uh, oh, sorry, on the C100 Mark II. Now, it might sound a little bit strange, and certainly in productions where I'm not uh, going to be worried about at 4K, then I'll probably revert to shooting uh, the A camera with the C100 Mark II. But just at the moment, it really is that next step I need to take and you know, hopefully to take me to that next level in my filmmaking and cinematography, I just need to be on a Cineline camera. And the thing is with Canon ecosystem, I love what's happening in the Sony world at the moment. I really love what they're doing. They're bringing out amazing cameras, but in terms of Video, predominantly, I want a camera that's got great battery life, that has a long run time, that uh, doesn't have any issues with color. I want the color science that I know and love from Canon. And the C100 Mark II, it gives me all of those things. It's a really inexpensive camera now. Uh, you can pick one up for three and a half thousand second hand, maybe three thousand Aussie dollars second hand, maybe four thousand dollars new. And that for me right now is just something that I can really use and it can help me now. I've put this up for sale on eBay, the 5D Mark III. I'm expecting to get about $1,750, maybe $1,800 for this body. It's only had 52,000 shutter actions and it's in really good condition. There's a few small blemishes here and there, but generally speaking, uh, it's in fantastic condition and still takes amazing photos and amazing, shoots amazing video. But yeah, just getting into the nitty gritty of trying to match this footage up with the 5D Mark IV, I was really just disappointed with the quality and especially when I was shooting on the 5D4 in the log, applying the look uh, the lookup table from Canon and then I was trying to match it with shooting on the 5D Mark III in Cine style and trying to get a grade on the Cine style that matched the log and it just like literally it just would not, could not 
why not, I don't know, but it, I just couldn't get it to match. Unless I degraded the 5D Mark IV footage to match it, I just was really struggling to get it to match. And so I just basically came to a decision that I needed to up my game, I needed to move the 5D 3 on. Now, the 5D 3 5D Mark III I still think represents an amazing camera. If you're an aspiring filmmaker, if you're just starting out in photography uh, and wanting to, and maybe you've got like a, a cheaper Canon DSLR or you've got a small point and shoot and you want to step up your game, right now is a great time to pick up these. And I think if you were to wait another month, maybe two, when Canon has got some big announcements on the way. I know they've got some big announcements on the way and I think if you were to wait a couple of months, then these bodies are going to be even cheaper. So I would keep an eye out for if you're thinking about starting uh, you know, in, in film, videography, if you're thinking of starting in photography, I highly recommend the 5D Mark III. Now for filmmakers, a really cool thing on the 5D Mark III that we used often was Magic Lantern and that's still available, that's still kind of being developed for the 5D Mark III. So if that's you and you're thinking maybe, hey, I wanna get into videography, I wanna do photography, then I would encourage you to give it a few months, maybe give it a week or two, give it a month or two, and then have a look at the 5D Mark III as an option. Look at Magic Lantern, I've used it successfully on the camera. I have one SD card in here uh, that always has Magic Lantern on it. Uh, and so this SD card has always got Magic Lantern on it. So every time I open the camera, turn it on, um, I'll just check now, even though we've got no lens on here, let's see what she wants to do. Basically, I'll show you on the back here, um, you just, to come into Magic Lantern, you just press the um, trash button and it opens Magic Lantern up, and then you can press it again, and basically, I'll see if I can get focus here. Is it gonna focus for me? No, not gonna focus, that's right. I was put my head in frame here. But yeah, basically, this is the Magic Lantern, um, the Magic Lantern menu. And what's really good about it is it's got focus speaking, it's got zebras, yeah, things that the camera doesn't have without Magic Lantern. Magic Lantern brings to the 5D3. So um, yeah, it's a, it is really cool to get those things. Um, you can find out how much shutter count you've got. You can do things like exposure. Uh, you can do white balance, ISO shutter. Um, you can change your picture styles, everything within Magic Lantern. It's like a hack that goes on. So yeah, I'd still recommend this as a camera to use and a camera that is really, really good. A camera that is still relevant in today's um, video production and photography market. But generally speaking, I just need to step up the image quality and I want something that's gonna match really well with the 5D Mark IV. Who knows, I'll get into the Cine line and see what happens. Maybe then I'll upgrade the 5D Mark IV to a Cine uh, line. I wanna keep the 5D Mark IV for my vlogging and I wanna keep it for photography, but then maybe I'll get the C200, um, you know, cause it's got the 4K. I don't know what's gonna happen yet, but yeah, I just wanted to come in and just check on you guys, say g'day and let you know that yeah, I'm basically, it's now up on eBay. Uh, to anyone in Australia who wants to grab it, you can actually uh, message me, find me on Instagram and message me. My Instagram is Michael J. Drowley, and also my business Instagram is Pendula. I'll throw a link below to that. So check that out if you're wanting to get some inspiration on your video production stuff. Uh, that's all cool. And if you want to see any of my older videos or older posts on my Instagram, make sure you check that out too today. But yeah, if you want to DM me on there, if you're looking for a 5D3 body, by all means, chuck me a DM. And yeah, thanks so much for tuning in, you guys. A bit of a different video today, but I have been sick last week, and so that's why I haven't done any tutorials or anything like that. But I'll be coming back at you soon with some awesome tutorials. So stay tuned and keep your eyes on the channel. Thank you again, everyone who's subscribed and everyone who's following along on the journey. Hey, hit the thumbs up if you like this video, and thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.